Hey guys, it's Jackie with Intoxicating Arts and today I'm making another We're Expecting card to announce a baby. I'm starting off with this 140 pound watercolor cardstock and I'll be using two Ken Oliver color burst colors today in alizarin crimson and ultramarine blue. Those will cross each other and in some spots there will be a nice pretty purple type color. When I use these, I like to just gently tap the back of it with my fingernail rather than squeezing on the bottle. I just feel like that gives me a lot of control and I don't have too much powder coming out at once. I do like to wet my surface down first and then start going in with the colors. It's not going to have them burst a whole lot, but it just kind of helps them grab onto the paper. So you'll see, I just randomly put some blue on there and then randomly put some of the red. And now I'm using a fine mist bottle to spray some water over that and just get those colors to start moving a little bit. And the more water you use, the better most of the time. It kind of depends on the look that you're going for, but for me, I wanted a really flowy background and so that required a lot of water. If you wanted something to look like this per se, like with a lot of white showing, you could just stop right there and dry it off and that could be your background. For me, I wanted it to be no white showing at all and very flowy. For some added shimmer, well actually there is no shimmer, so for some shimmer, I used a Lin Lindy Stamp Gang spray and this is one of the teal colors. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but I do have a blog post up for this that I will make sure to link below. So here you'll see I'm just tilting the cardstock while I am spraying this and that's going to give me that flowy motion that I'm looking for. And I'll just continue doing that until I like the way that it looks. And there's going to be some more movement happening while I'm drying it with the heat tool because there is a small amount of air that the heat tool puts out. Now that my card base is all nice and dry, I can do some stenciling and I'm going to start off using this Tim Holtz layering tag stencil called Dot Fade. And I'm trying something that I haven't tried before, which is using Inca Gold. And I will grab the Inca Gold with my finger and just buff that through the stencil. And I'm doing this towards the bottom left corner and I'll also do it on the top right corner. And this worked out wonderfully. This is kind of like a champagne color. They have a bunch of different colors to pick from and I only have two. I have the champagne and like the silver color. So this actually gave it just a little bit of dimension and a ton of that nice metallic sheen going on. And your finger does get a little tired doing this because you have to buff it in there really good to get it through the stencil, but it's totally worth the look in the end. I really enjoy doing mixed media type cards because it just feels so freeing and it just kind of comes naturally to me, I feel. So now that that bottom left part is done, I'm just going to speed up the video a little bit here so you can see me finish that off and move on to the top right. And you can see how pretty that is after I remove the stencil. Again, this does take just a little while to do, but it's totally worth it in the end. If you haven't heard of Inca Gold before, it's actually a cold wax, so it's really unique in the way that it works, and um, I highly recommend looking into it. For my next step, I'm using a stencil by us, Intoxicating Arts, and this one is called Floral Frame, but I'm not using it as a frame, I just wanted to use part of it, which the part that I'm using is this large flower, and I'm pouncing my Tim Holtz Distress Paint over it, and this does not end up working out the way I had expected. The Tim Holtz Distress Paint is very watery, so even if you use a very light hand and you're as careful as possible, it's still going to seep out under your stencil, which you can see here. So what I did is I actually decided to just go over that multiple times. I think I went over it about three times just to build up the color and make it look more purposeful. And then I'll go back in with the same stencil using a different medium to make it look like it was on purpose. 
So for now, I'm just going to move to the leaves of the flower. And I'm using something called Silk's Acrylic Glaze. And they come in this tiny little pot, and I'm just using my finger again. I'm using my finger to do everything, pretty much. I didn't use any paintbrushes or anything. I actually used a wood stick for part of this, you'll see. Um, but it works perfect to apply this paint through the stencil. Um, the paint has a little bit of thickness to it, um, so it holds together very well. It's not going to seep like the Distress paint does. You'll see here how gorgeous that came out. I still need to go back and fix the flower. So that's what the pot looks like. Almost done with the background now. I'll be pulling that same stencil back out after that's dry. And you see me pull a little bit of this gel stuff out of that pot. This is actually a mica powder mixed together with a Liquitex gel medium. And the mica powder is called luster mica powder that we used to make. Well, we still kind of make it, but I don't have it posted for sale anywhere. This color is gorgeous and it's called Hawaiian Orchid. It shifts back and forth between like a really pretty fuchsia purple to like a pink and it's just it I mean there's a reason it's called Hawaiian Orchid because it really is kind of that color and I whenever I mix this up I like to store them in pots because I know I'll eventually use it again and I just used a wood stick to put that on there just it was something quick and easy I didn't feel like messing around with my palette knife and it worked perfectly fine so this makes the flower look more purposeful and it also gives it some nice dimension for my sentiment, it's a custom sentiment, and I'm using scraps from my last card, which I actually have a card video on, and I'm showing you right here. I'm using the scraps from it as a stencil, and that worked out perfectly for this project. To put the words on my card, I'll be using a food ball pen, and these are, there's food ball pens in general, but the one that I'm using is by Dina Wakely and Ranger makes them. The thing that's awesome about these pens is, so they're like, they're a rollerball pen, but they are made to be able to write over dried acrylic paint. And I'm not writing over dried acrylic paint in this particular instance. It's just watercolor, but it's very dark watercolor. And I wanted to make sure my sentiment would show up well, I could have done like a white gel pen perhaps, but I, I just wanted it to be black and I also wanted to try out my food ball pen. So uh, these are very nice and smooth. I really like the way that it writes and I also like the output of ink that it has. It just really lays down a lot of ink and I didn't feel like I had to put a ton of effort to get it to the darkness that I was looking for. So I'm just going to finish off the rest of that sentiment and then you'll be able to see what I'm talking about in just a moment. Okay, so there you can see how well that worked. Um, I'm also just going to go back in and kind of touch up that X because it's a little it's a little sparse, but you can see the shimmer going on on the card too. It's really pretty with that Lindy stamp gang and just like the, all of the dimension that's on there and with the ink of gold and everything. So now I'll be moving on to the inside of the card, which in order to match the outside, I use some more spray mist. And this is a Luster Mica spray mist and the color is Hawaiian Orchid. So it matches the flower on the outside. And I'm just going to spray that a couple times with the Hawaiian Orchid. And then I wanted to just bring in another color. I'm making the inside more girl based where the outside, I guess the outside is kind of gender neutral. I didn't want them to know for sure like what it was until they opened the card. So this is uh, Maui Magma, another Luster Mica Spray Mist. We've discontinued these just because they take a lot of work to make so it's actually easier to sell it in a powder form and have people make their own spray mist using the powder 
So I don't have the Maui Magma in a powder, but I do believe I have Hawaiian Orchid. If you're interested, just let me know. Leave me a comment and I can put them up for sale again. So for the inside of the card, I'm doing the exact same thing like the outside, using that leftover scrap piece as a stencil and just writing the sentiment with the food ball pen. And it looks a little like, you know, homemade. <laughs> you can tell it's not perfect, but it came out pretty well. I'm happy with the way that it looks. So I like that the inside of the card matches the outside with the fact that it's a spray mist and it's nice and shimmery and I just think it looks really cool. So if you haven't tried doing a mixed media card yet, you should definitely give it a try. It's really freeing and it's a lot of fun. I hope you'll join me for my next video, which I don't know what it's going to be yet, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!